I'm here with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo laptop. This is a Lenovo ThinkPad T460 laptop. These versions they come with an Intel processor with a iCore 5 V Pro. This applies for any version that you have as long as the T460. So in this video I'm going to show you guys how to open it up, how to replace your CPU and how you can clean up the cooling system on this one so it can run uh, faster and cleaner so the tools that you're going to be needing are really simple you need a screwdriver set i use the ifixit tool set they have the one of the best screwdriver set out there they come with a pro version and a simple version and they, they have a c s2 steel grade and beds which are last you which will last you very long time we're going to be using a Phillips number zero from this tool set also you will be needing a opening tool i use a guitar pick for opening tool a metallic guitar pick which has a really soft edges and it's hard to scratch components with this uh, one and it's really tough to bend you will need a working towel so all this material the links are in the description and working towel and you will need an alcohol uh, isopropolic alcohol isopropolic whatever you want to call it and a good thermal paste i suggest arctic mx4 or if you want to do a really better thermal paste and one of the best ones are the thermal grizzly cryonaut so if you want to go with a high brand go with a thermal grizzly cryonaut or if you want to do a medium good ones are mx4 which are really good all right so let's get into it and let's do the service first thing first you want to power off completely the laptop once the power is off you want to flip it over and we're going to remove the external battery there's a two batteries one external and there's an internal one in here to remove the external battery slide this trigger right here to the right side and just push it back a little bit so it stays open grab this side push it to the one side and slide it back now simply just slide it all the way back and the battery will come out now we're going to start removing all the screws here the screws will not come out they have a c lock on them so you can only loose them up so go ahead and just do a few rotation on them and then you see the whole screw moving just wobbling around also, I really appreciate it if you guys could subscribe and click that like button if you find my videos helpful. I really, it's really big help and motivates me to make more videos and take requests and answer your questions. And that's something nice in a return. All right, there we go. Now that we removed all the screws, we're going to open up the laptop in 45 degree angle and you want to stick the guitar pick between the top and the bottom cover and just want to wiggle it around. I'm just sticking about two or three millimeters. I'm not sticking the whole thing inside. No need. Just do the same thing on the sides. Go all the way to the back by the power jack. And do this side. And next, you just want to wiggle it around, lift it up, move it around, and then lift it the top bottom cover. And that's the bottom cover. You can go ahead and clean up the mesh on the bottom cover. All right, now that we remove the top bottom cover, here's the inside. The internal battery is right over here. To remove this battery, just pull back down, pull back this uh, jack, and the battery will get disconnected. So just grab this cable and then pull it backward and there we go. The heatsink is right over here. A copper heatsink but painted with a black coating and the fan right there and you can see it's really dirty. So we're gonna start removing four screws on the heatsink. The screws they have a C-lock on them again so you just loose them up. Okay, also you need to remove the jack for the fan, which is right over here. So pulling these cables backward, 
the jack is going to get disconnected. And go ahead and lift up this heat sink slowly and then bring it up. And there you can see it. The CPU, the old thermal paste, and the fan right there. Now that we removed the heat sink, what you want to do, you want to start cleaning up the old thermal paste on the CPU just by nicely wetting the working towel and bring it over and just rub and clean the whole CPU. Make sure there's no dust particles on the crystal die. Also clean up the heat sink nicely. Now to clean up the fan, it's you can use a toothbrush, use an old toothbrush and just uh, clean it up and blow the air right from the back towards the center from here towards inward so all the dust can come out. So I'm going to take it outside and use a toothbrush to clean it up. I'll be back. Now look at the difference between the new cleaned version and how it was before. Now what we want to do, we want to grab the new thermal paste, just place a one drop right on the big square and do a little tiny drop or line on the other one. Next you just want to bring it over, put down this side first, make sure the cable jack goes underneath, bring it over, align it. Once you put it down, you put your finger in the middle and don't lift the heat sink. Cross it, screw them. There's a number one right here. Number two, four, and then three, or three, four, doesn't matter. As long as you do a cross screw. You don't need to tighten up really hard, just firmly. Grab the jack and then push it right inside the connector. Plug in the battery that you unplugged, right there. Do not power on unless you put the bottom cover because there's a little triggers to detect that the cover is not installed. So bring it over, put down the IO side down first, push down the corners, push down at the bottom of the battery, make sure you those clicks. And the last thing would be to just tighten it up all the screws at the bottom cover. And if you see any opening, just grab it and pinch it. And I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys to do your own service. And if it did, please click that thumbs up button. And if you have any questions or requests and you need help, just let me know in the comment area and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Just finishing up this one. And the last thing would be, grab the battery, slide it in, push down here, and there you go. And that's how you service your uh, Lenovo T460. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.